Hi, this is Mike, and this is a brief introduction to the uh, Java Mission Control and Java Flight Recorder series I will be doing. So, Java Mission Control and Java Flight Recorder, they're JVM monitoring and analysis tools. Um, Mission Control is a monitoring tool that's JMX compliant, and it basically allows you to monitor live machines and it's also used with flight recorder to analyze recordings and then flight recorder allows you to record and analyze the JVMs um, of a running Java application. Um, both features are new to Java 7 update 40 and the hotspot JVM though they've been around a while with the JRocket JVM but it's all Included now in Java, when you download the latest Java 7 update, you'll have the tools included, and they're free for development use. Uh, Mission Control, once again, is the monitoring tool. So let me go through some of those uh, acronyms, and we'll see them a little bit in the demos. Um, JMX is, stands for Java Management Extensions, and it basically adds uh, hooks or libraries to dynamically monitor and manage JVMs and it's built into the JVM and that's accomplished through managed beans or mbeans and those basically are objects that manage JVM resources they are stored on a server and then we have a JMX agent that manages the beans and then you will have a JMX connector which then connects to the agent so that's basically how it works and um, allows us to look at what's happening on a JVM and also manage what's happening on a JVM. Java Flight Recorder is a recording and analysis tool and basically it uh, records JVM events that occur um, while the JVM is running and creates a, a file that you can then load later and analyze to see what happened. It has an unobtrusive, it has a very small impact or small footprint. It's very unobtrusive and does not really impact performance of a running application. And it creates very detailed recordings um, of the events that occur while that application is running. And then once you're you know done with making the recording, you load it up in Mission Control Console and then you can analyze what happened. Um, the flight recordings are events of different kinds of things. You can have duration events, which have a start and a stop time. Um, one time only events are instant events. Uh, polled events that occur at a certain frequency or rate. And then timed events, which are duration events with some sort of threshold. Uh, when you're done with the recording, it's stored in a .jfr file. This is a binary file. It's self-contained and self-describing. And you can either do continuous recordings, which just means that you're, you know, constantly um, writing all that data to disk and then storing either based on size or time a certain amount of data. And or you can do a timed recording, say I want to record this uh, application for 20 minutes. To use um, Java Flight Recorder with Java 7, you have to have update 40 or later. The examples I use are using update 45. And then you have to use a couple command line options when you start the JVM you want to monitor or record. You need to add uh, unlock commercial features and flight recorder as shown here in the slide so that uh, you can enable those um, monitoring features. And the flight recordings may be started from mission control uh, from the command line or using J command which is also included with Java 7 and uh, you can easily start and stop recordings with that. Uh, one last point, you can run multiple recordings simultaneously on the same JVM. That's, that's absolutely no problem at all. So that's it. That's the introduction that I have to the series. I just want to give a little background on those tools and then uh, what will follow will be a series of demos demoing the actual features 
and user interface, etc. for Mission Control and Flight Recorder.